in this episode, it's going to be an interesting topic. I'm going to talk about. Hey, I'm over here. This camera tripod. Sorry for the messy hair. But in this episode, we're going to talk about how we can cure sadness and depression as well. Um, since I figured, you know, a lot of people, I know there's a big blare. I don't want to figure it out. I don't want to mess. I don't want to. There's a lot of stuff on the ground over here. I don't want to step in it. So, like, a lot of people like to uh, go straight to that when it comes to trying to get weed. Uh, they would say they have depression, they have chronic sadness, whatever. Which is a good reason, it is. Because, but the thing is, what people think, I think they're. I think they're thinking of weed as too strongly as in <clears throat> as in like they probably think it cures as in gets rid of which that isn't the case for example I'm pretty sad right now uh, I miss my dog okay that's what I'm sad about and yeah I just got some bad news about my cousin having the sickness that's pretty sad too and you guys are probably wondering well how are you smiling right now how do you upload this content how do you yada 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 you know how do you not show your sadness I'll, I would like to wish uh, yeah, I like to say you know that I'm an entertainer <laughs> and I always have a mask on but I mean the truth is I do kinda lean back on weed when it comes down to it as in, yeah, when I get too sad or too depressed, I'll smoke some weed. And I probably won't be able to hide it as easy. Now, it won't make me stop thinking about those things. Of course, those things are going to be on my mind. Of course, I'm going to be thinking about them here and there. But the thing is, it's going to make it easier to think about. I'm going to think of all the options. Instead of trying to pinpoint the worst option, I'm going to just be thinking about, oh, this could happen, or that could happen, or, you know, th basically things could get better. And that's where I think it helps with the cureness part, making sure I don't step on any of this stuff. So... I'm not spitting on the floor right now. <coughs> I'm spitting in a trash can. Just so you guys know, don't spit on the floor. <laughs> that would make me sad. <laughs> Dang. I should have grabbed another cigarette. <coughs> <coughs> so. <coughs> so there's that. You know. So I don't think it's going to make you completely forget about it it's not going to do that but it is going to make things easier that's for sure it does help in a way but it doesn't help as people think as it does or claim as it does or even says or predict as it does you know because the way they make it sound is like oh this is the cure well it's not the cure for death is it you know I'm thinking about my dog sorry Um, so, yeah, see, I'm high right now, but I could smile at the, because, because right now I'm thinking, I'm not thinking about my dog being dead right now. What I'm thinking about is her being with her old owners, the ones she had before us, and, like, being able to spend time with them once again. So that's what, you know, because I went through all the options, you know, I was very sad at the start, you know, the first day. You guys seen it, I recorded it. But but over time it helped me this helped me uh you know, come to the outcome of she was in a better place. So Oh man, I need 
Uh oh. We might need to turn this next scene in to find the ashtray. Where is the ashtray? Why is it whenever I come to smoke out here, the ashtray is put somewhere I can never find it? But then, if I'm just coming out here for like a soda or something, I never could find the ashtray. Like there was never one out here in the first place. <laughs> but there is one out here. I really need it right now. Hold on. Oofa. Oofa, oofa, oofa. I can't take another hit of it. It's going to drop the ash. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can see it. Yeah, there's a jump rope here. And what, what you guys heard was a big bag of hats. A big bag of hats. That fell. Because it was hanging from that jump rope. See? That's why I said oofa about it, it, it was pushing me. And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I don't see it. I do not see it. Sorry, no, it sounds gross. My nose is running. I don't see it. Well, by this point, the cigarette's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Just glitched it. I don't have to worry about it right now. Woo! Oof! Oof! That scared the crap out of me! Look at that, you see that? And you hear it? That's a horrible sound. <laughs> I would not want that in my room. Nope, oh no, thank you. <laughs> it sounded like a bug flying around. And then when I looked over there, it looked like a bug flying around. So I was like, holy crap, that's a big giant ass bug. <laughs> Oop, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, what what's up? What are we talking about again? After all that crap just happened. <laughs> um, sadness and depression, that's right. The sadness and depression. Uh, I guess I had more to talk about on this topic. But, um... You know what, in this video... I hope I don't have any boogers. Now I realize I was looking upward. My bad, guys, if I did. I don't think I did. No. Because I don't like that. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Don't worry about that. Overthinking it. So in this episode, we're not only going to talk about sadness and depression, but we're going to talk about through all moods when you're high. Because I've been through high. I've been... I've been... I've been through high. <laughs> I've been high. Well, happy, sad... Depressed, angry, frantic. Uh, what other emotions are there? What other human things do humans do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any other emotions. I guess I said that mol melancholy, melon, melancholy, melancholy. However you pronounce it. And I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. So we'll go through the different moods. And that was the first one. Sadness. And we actually covered depression too. Because they're basically the size of it. We'll, we'll just call it sadness. And then we'll call this episode. the However many stages of moods. Well hi. <laughs> Next one we'll be talking about. I'm trying to think. Which one do I want to do next? You know what? We'll start off low. And then we'll head up high. So, the last one will be happiness. The next one we'll be talking about is anger. And how we can help you with your anger problems. Or even when you're just in an angry mood at the time. So, stay tuned for that. Do I have enough time to talk about it now? Can I knock it off right now? Nah, let's just take another hit. That's what you guys want to see. That's what I want to see. Oh god, my eye. Luckily, we'd... I'm very ticked off right now, people. I'm... 
you know what this is a question tell me what I should do for those that smoke weed and watch this series please because my town sucks so much they're willing to sell us bogus bowls and I got I got I'm gonna show you evidence right now bogus bowls and you're gonna see what bogus bowl is um, just so we have to buy pipes every three months if we want to smoke wheat now it wasn't like this before it was uh, legalized though so huh a little suspicious and you know what else is suspicious corn pipes wooden pipes old wooden pipes old wooden pipes were amazing the older they were the longer they lasted and then at one point they start adding this little ball this little plastic white plastic I have no idea ball in between in the middle of the wooden pipe therefore it only it didn't even work for a week you had to replace a wooden pipe after a week so three months not that bad to replace a pipe but still before it would it took two years it took three years it didn't take three months check this out this is awful I'm sorry to show you guys this but Sprite just died Sprite died on us but that's because my town doesn't my town sells a crap look at how they're all broken look at how they're all broken they all have a little slant in them big small these are look there's a big one medium size and a small one all broke the same freaking way you know why this is look after even after like the first two times of smoking out of them you'll start to see these fractures in the cracks that you didn't see when you buy them they were always there but they weren't as big until you heat them up and then over time those fractures become bigger and bigger and guess where they put the fracture right there so once it breaks you gotta get a new one I will be telling you guys what store sold me all three of these pipes all three of these pipes came from a smoke shop and I know which smoke shop and I'm never gonna buy a pipe from them again never never ever ever this is awful look at this I hate when pipes break it's like when a freaking pet dies honestly honestly I don't like it I really I treat these pipes I clean them I try to keep them clean I really put a lot of care into these pipes so when they break like this with like after I took so much good care of them it's like what's going on this isn't how it used to be this isn't how it used to be stop messing with it you you I understand you need to gain profit but guess what you don't need you really don't need to gain profit you pipe blowers honestly unless if there's new pipe blowers out there or whatever go blow something else instead of pipe that's all I'm gonna say okay because if you're gonna make this thanks a lot thanks a lot thanks a lot thanks yeah the smallest one it it died it really it really broke so it really shows you they don't care they don't care about the quality it's all about profit for them smoke shops if you're having this problem too please let me know in the comments because I'd love I I will I will not mind exposing any other smoke shops that do this to people this is corruption at its finest people they really they're really trying to get every single last penny out of us so <clears throat> if you have the same problem like this please record it as evidence save your pipes that break like this if it if it randomly breaks around the mouthpiece even that far away that means there was a fracture put in there so you can see this fractured it's right there you see that line that's not resin that's a fracture that's where that fracture was finally this fracture on this one it started off back here and then it worked its way all the way around and I slow every week every freaking week the fracture got longer and longer it even went down here too it was going down here so if that piece didn't break that piece would have broke right there in the middle then it still wouldn't be able to use it so I gotta get a new pipe at least a handheld pipe <sighs> hopefully the next place we get it from they won't sell us a bogus pipe you know I'm sick of these bogus pipes we've had too many <sighs> man this sucks this really does suck 
you know what people before I end up this segment of the video I'm gonna suggest this invest in this invest in this these pipes suck these pipes do really suck for pot smokers but they last they're gonna last you long they're gonna last the freaking they're gonna last the bomb explosion these things are like cockroaches they really are or Twinkies they're really good well they're not good to use but the only reason why they're not good to use is because if you smoke out of them too long in one sitting you'll end up it'll get hot where I'm holding it so you won't be able to really hold the pipe you have to put down after each bowl because it burns up but you know at least it don't break you know this one you actually can take off the headpiece and because it's a screw but better than these boom 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 you all felt you all felt you all are shit compared to this and th I thought this was shit so you you just might become the king of pipes around here you just might if we can't find a pipe that doesn't do this you are in first place buddy <laughs> you are in first place all right that's all I wanted to show you guys this is such bullshit it's such bullshit and since we're on this topic of being angry, and like I was saying earlier in this video, we're going to be talking about how weed helps with different emotions. Our next emotion to talk about is anger. Well, hi. So stay tuned for that. Dang, look how bright it gets. Well, you guys can't see it now because I turned down the brightness. But after you guys seen that last segment with the broken glass, the three broken pipes past three months, well, actually past nine months, yeah. Each three to two months, the glasses would the glass would break, and so it's and you guys saw how they were broken. They were broken all in the same way. It wasn't my fault. If it was my fault, they'd be smashed. They'd be smashed because I wanted to get that resin out, you know. But these were broken in such a BS way that you can't use them anymore after they were broken, you know. Uh, maybe I could tape them together and get a long piece out of it so I don't have to burn the I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with them honestly I'm just saving the, the glass pipes that are broken because I don't know one day maybe I can find a glass blower put all that glass together and make me the ultimate piece that will never break you know I don't care if it's the size of a football it's gonna be super colorful and it's gonna probably look awesome and I'm going to be like, this, this is all the pieces I broke. You think I forgot, <laughs> you know. I never forgot. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back on the topic. So last thing we talked about was what could we help with the depression and sadness. This time we're going to talk about the anger. I don't know if I'm going to throw anxiety in there. Because anxiety kind of fits in the paranoia feeling. And not really anger feeling. So yeah, anger and rage, I guess we'll say. So, you would, you know, you're probably thinking just like with the sadness, maybe we can cure anger. Or, you know, maybe we can cure sadness, whichever. It's not, it's not true. I mean, it, just like with the sadness, it is a little bit true. But, it, in, re, in the way that people make it sound like, once again, it's not true that's just how it is that's how life is honestly you'll hear a bunch of crap and you have to you have to learn from yourself that what's real and what's not you know I'm not saying all oh, this isn't real no I'm saying like you know some people will give you false information just because they're they think they're such a smart ass you know <laughs> the truth is they're about as dumb as bricks but the truth so before you go take someone else's information, someone else's word for it, maybe you should look it up yourself. Maybe you should experiment a little bit. But never harm yourself with experiments, okay? Don't push yourself, you know? Some things are best left unknown, <laughs> basically. So, anger. Well, I'm dealing with anger. As you guys seen last night, I had my newest piece broke on me. So, yeah, that was hard to see. So now I'm thinking, okay, this smoke shop is importing these glasses because they know that they're going to have to whoever buys these pipes 
they're going to have to come on back in the next three months to buy another new pipe. It wasn't like this back in 2007 and 2016 when I first started buying pipes. When I first started buying pipes, they would last for two years. Not three months, two years. Now, oh my god, now they don't even last two weeks. And after two weeks, you start to see the fractures on them that they were put in. They were actually lined like someone sat there and tapped the glass with a metal something over and over just to get a small fracture in there at the right place around the bowl piece. That's why we're using this today. <sighs> so I'm a little bit upset, but that's not it. That's not it. I got done watching uh, Borat 2. You know, usually they make the third movie into crap, but this time they made the second movie into crap. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. It's an okay movie, but it's not as good as the, old, the first one. It's not. I mean, it's been tw it's been like what 14 years since the first one came out, but still, it should have been. They what they felt like happened is uh, they rushed it, you know. But that's we're not here. We're not re reviewing movies. We're here to blaze and chill, right? So what do you, what does weed help with anger? Well, your anger is still going to be there, but at a very very low dosage. Like like um, you're still going to be thinking about it, but you're not going to be as acting on it. If that makes any sense, you're going to be. It's going to be up here, but it's not going to show as much. It might show as much if you let it. Now, if you let it, that's a bad idea. Because up here it's really strong, okay? That's, you know, you don't want to let that out because it's just building up up there as you're high. And if you let it out, well, good luck to you. You know, it's untelling what you're capable of, but you're going to find out. So, don't let it out. Uh... For me, personally, it doesn't help with anger, you know, but that's because my, my moods, they're like very strong. I'm never in between happy and angry, you know, there's never an in-between point. For me, it's always one-sided, so it's, if I'm sad, I'm sad. If I'm mad, I'm mad. If I'm happy, I'm happy. I got strong emotions, so weed doesn't really help my anger problems. Uh, they say anger problems. The truth is, I got strong emotion problems, okay? I'm emotional. What was that? What the heck? You guys heard that? Right? You guys had to hear that. That was loud. There you are. I thought you were a frog. It was a cricket. That's a big cricket, though. Don't hop over here, grasshopper. A grasshopper. We got some grass. <laughs> you know why they hopped over here? It's like you got grass. <laughs> they call me the grass hopper. You know, one of these days, we're going to fill a bong up with soda or juice, orange juice, orange juice and kush, you know? See, I mean, I'm not going to use it on a bong, like, I'm not going to do it with this bong. We don't need to see how the juice bubbles. We all know how that's going to look. I just want to see what it would do with the taste, you know? I always wanted to do that, but <coughs> I never owned 
extra bongs but now I do and plus I got this bong where it's so easy to clean you can take off um, we might actually just use that one the plastic bong or you can take off this bomb piece and you can get in there and clean it real good that that'll be good for that I don't know what kind of I don't know how about this leave in the comments if you made it this far in the video suggest something that we should put in the bong you know instead of water as long as it's not flammable I won't use beer or liquor okay that shit's flammable <laughs> I don't want to be sitting here and like a giant firebomb goes off in my hand <laughs> a flame torch basically aiming it right at your face yeah I don't want to go through that so whatever you guys suggest make sure it's not flammable make sure it's uh, good to ingest like food beverage wise beverage wise you know it could be any type of soda it could be any type of juice fly I think that was a fly running for vice president and just came and landed on the bowl. That's nasty. <laughs> well, flies have rights now. <laughs> seen on TV. <laughs> if, it, if there was a flying election, it's more than what I've seen people done. <laughs> so, <laughs> but still, that's nasty. It legit landed right on the side of the bowl. And I thought it was a bee at first. I was like, you gotta be kidding me probably took a crap on it or something I don't know it's just a little fly if it did take a crap over it spat you know fly spit to eat their food so it probably spit on it a little bit but it's just a little fly if anything that fly is probably going to kill us <laughs> with the coronavirus or something it's probably carrying around swine flu or something <laughs> it's probably a freaking robotic fly that's how that's I never seen a fly no, one time, that night, it wasn't a fly though, it was a moth. Dang, this cricket's huge. Don't come by me. Oh, or jump away. Yeah, that scared the attention, didn't it? Go, oh, get up there, get up there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's scared. I was scared of it, but it turns out it's more scared of me. My bad. I'm here like it's coming toward me, so I start stomping on the ground where in front of me so it will so it just like it turns like what the heck quickly turns around it's a big cricket though oof so anger let's not get off topic anymore anger in a case some cases you know I guess if people didn't have strong emotions like me sorry for spitting on camera but I'm too lazy to turn the camera or whatever so some people that probably don't have strong emotions like me that are more in stable moods you know both sides they can be in between they probably they probably will get cured if like from their anger if they smoke weed you know they probably they pro it probably will help them a lot more than it helps me. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Because some people don't know how to take care of their dogs. I only say that because I've seen them leave them outside. Not caring. I don't like that. If I don't like that. See, I'm, I'm getting angry right now. Good thing we got us a bowl pack. But how, how do you not get angry around idiots, you know? <laughs> There's no way avoiding it. There's no way avoiding it for someone like me. It is what it is. People are going to be awful in your life, okay? People are going to be awful. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> there's, there's no follow-up. It's just, period. People are going to be awful, period. Weed ain't going to help that. And maybe if they start smoking weed, too. Maybe. Who knows? I I really believe they might just need some weed. <laughs> the whole world needs a little bit of weed. Honestly, I'll be honest. It ain't gonna. It ain't killing no one. So it's basically like an aspirin. They ought to treat it more like an aspirin. 
and stop overpricing it and stop using us you know abusing us really it's not using us but it's abusing us because we could we have the choice you know we have the choice to quit it's really you know we don't have to smoke weed but they're gonna have to overprice it at these uh, smoke shops and stuff that they're open these dispensaries they're opening and stuff that's kind of not right to do you know that's not how that's not how it's done I mean a strong we're not you know you know and you better know you better know what you're selling there <laughs> you know if you say you're just some strong stuff most of eight times out of ten it's going to be strong stuff uh, but uh, those two times there's probably some shop owners dispensary shop owners that don't really try their own stuff and so they don't really know whether it's good or bad or I mean strong or not it's not bad good or good <laughs> if we're talking about weed but as you guys can see I've dealt with some anger last night today and I'm still not going off I could be going off as you guys seen in this segment I kind of almost lost track there and forgot what we were talking about and I almost did the exact opposite of what we are talking about but I did that's because I was able to stay on track driving that train hi Uncle G That's a joke. That's a joke for the Unis Artist fans out there. There's only so much time left. <laughs> you gotta hit subscribe. You gotta watch these videos. You gotta re-upload them. Do what you will. Do what you want. Ooh, that sounded pretty good. I made such an awesome quote last night. It was so good. It was basically a presidential quote. A brand new quote. I can't remember it right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll remember it later. But I was watching Borat too. And then, even though I wasn't really being satisfied with the movie, it really did make me think about a lot of things, that's for sure. I was just watching, like, uh, wow? Like, how do they allow this? Like, what's the rules? The rules? I don't know. <coughs> There's a hair right here. No. Nothing. Oh, there's one in my mouth. Hold on, let me get this hair. There we go. It was like right here. I couldn't see it. Dangling. So, um. I guess that's it about the anger, you know? It's not going to fully cure your anger problems. It's not. But what it will do, it'll help you manage them more easily. So like, meaning, you don't have to go off the rocks. You don't, you don't, you don't have to go off your rocker, <laughs> as some would say. Because when you're high, it's just like, you don't care. It's like, you're fine with it. It is what it is. You can't, you can't fix. It, it really makes you think because when you're high you realize you're just a single person out there you can you can make a little bit of change but you're not going to make a giant change unless if you know you can you know what I'm saying some people can some people can but honestly I believe a lot of people can on the, 
no, this is why I believe. It takes a lot of people to make a good giant change. It doesn't take just one person or a group of people because that's not how it's going to work. It's going to have to work if everyone agrees. That's how it's going to have to work if you want to make a giant change. So, I don't know. You know, this next emotion we're going to talk about, well, I, it's a very interesting one to me, at least to me, you know, because now that I'm thinking about this now, it's like it's so weird how it works out, and I'm going to explain to you what I mean. Uh, right now we just got the metal pipe out, I can't keep on smoking out of the bone, I need to get a new pipe, but, um, yeah, so paranoia and fear you know I think a lot of people get them confused especially when high because when you're high you you're not paranoid of every little thing you know you're paranoid of your fears that's for sure you're going to be that's just how it is normally if you let's say if you're fear of spiders and you've seen a spider coming down on you while you're high well you would freak out the same way you know as if you weren't as if you weren't high because that's your fear now now imagine this walking through a scare house you know one of those haunted houses where they jump up and boo at you well when you're high and doing that it's not that scary because in your head you know you're safe you know well yeah you know you're safe like there you know nothing you're not gonna die from walking through a scare house you know it, It'd be so rare if you were that one person out of the 500 people that walked through that day that was killed, you know? So you're not going to be scared of a scare house when high, okay? You're always going to have in your subconscious thoughts that you're going to be safe there. So, so, what were we talking about? Subconscious thoughts, blah, 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 blah. fear. That's right, fears. So, uh, paranoia, fear, paranoia, fear. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? <sighs> Take a break. Oh, I, I remember now what we were talking about. So, when it comes down to it, when it's not real fear and you're high, you're not going to be as paranoid of it, you know? But when it is real fear, like one of your biggest fears or in something that could actually do harm to you um, that you're going to be paranoid you're going to be fearing because you're going to be thinking of all the possible outcomes that could happen in that time or that situation so yeah you're going to be scared at that point and it's not like you're going to be scared as you were not high no it's different it's different because you're going to be way more paranoid when you're high and you're going through something really scary like let's say I don't know a serial killer was chasing after you let's say that okay and you're high well if you weren't high you would be thinking more logically and you'd be able it'd be a lot more easier a lot you know let's be honest when you're, you you can't think that quick while high you know you might be able to think smart things but they won't come at you like lightning um, but when you're high, you know, you're going to be thinking all, everything and everything that could happen. Anything and everything, I meant to say. So, it's really cool when you think about it like that, you know. See, people think, oh, you'll be paranoid of everything. When you, That's what a lot of people say. I like this claim. I don't like these accusers either. Ugh. That's why I'm making this series the show to help you all understand a little bit more for yourselves. At least make your own judgment, make your own call. Don't listen to others when they try to talk about what they don't know, honestly. Sorry guys. We haven't hit the ball yet, that's why. You know, I'm just telling you the pieces. Here's the puzzle in the box. It's up to you. You can put it together. You can watch it be entertained. <coughs> you can trip out with the colorful pieces. <coughs> Do what you will with it. <coughs> it's not my problem. <coughs> 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 oh, 
roof. <coughs> this bow packs here. This bow punches you in the lung. <coughs> you wouldn't think it does. Because it doesn't have such a big smoke chamber. I mean, look at that. It's not even the size. Like, it's almost... It's like two filter cigarettes. That's how big the smoke chamber on this is. Uh, two filters on the cigarette. <coughs> but, oof. It, it comes in so quickly because it's made out of metal. It, like, it heats up. Like, it doesn't just heat up where you're hitting it. It's going, like, as when it's burning in there, it heats up everywhere around there. So you gotta be careful with these. A lot of people like to, uh, put the flame out after they take a hit. So it doesn't keep on burning through the wheat. So, that's just a little tip there. Let's see, what else? What else are there? Emotions are there? We talked about sadness and depression. Then we went to anger and rage. Now paranoia and fear. So I guess happiness is last, huh? Happiness is last. Like I said, we'd work down from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So, stay tuned for the next segment, which is, how does weed affect happiness? Hey everyone, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to save the best for last. And the best is happy and excitement. That's the best, right? <laughs> so, what does weed do with while you're happy or excited? Um, it most makes it feel more of a funny feeling, you know, a humor-like thing is going on instead of, uh, uh, I guess, a memorable, more memorable. <laughs> but then again, when you're high, a lot of things aren't memorable. <laughs> well... being happy like what's it really you'll still feel happy honestly you still feel happy when you're happy not much of a difference but it, it would make you laugh more you know you're basically going to be so happy that you're going to laugh eventually uh, some or some in some cases And if you ain't laughing, maybe you ain't happy enough. Who knows? But I guess that's that's all the. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of all the other emotions I could think about. And honestly, I don't know. Like there's <laughs> there's one more I could think of, but that one. That one I'll let you guys figure out for yourself. <laughs> it, anyways hope you guys enjoyed that other episode of blazing and chilling jeez I said that so like a tool didn't I <laughs> thanks for dropping by and remember go ski before you go ski yes we're back on the ball some good stuff and you probably didn't realize this but uh, we actually we actually got different something last week one of these days I'll show you guys what cancer patients we did like and I want you guys to pray for me on that episode I'll tell you <laughs>
<laughs> when you see the title pop up, cancer weed or something like that, I don't know. Pray for me on that one. That stuff is strong. And I really don't condone it. Like, stick with what, if, if you go to a dispensary, stick with what they suggest at first, you know. And then maybe try st other stuff for yourself. But don't don't be trying to jump the gun and try and get the strongest stuff, you know, just because you see how I smoke. It's, it's like or others smoke. Because this stuff, the first time trying it, it was harsh. It was very harsh. It was actually a scary high. It almost scared me. A bad buzz, they would call it. And when you have a bad, or a bad high, bad buzz, something like that, that's when you get so scared of being high, you don't, you just don't get high anymore. You just quit it. You just quit. I was, I was this close there, because my heart was racing, and everything was just like, I was like frozen in time, and everything was just moving as quick as it could be, and as tensely as it could be. And I'm just sitting there like trying to calm myself and I'm breathing as slow as I can. I'm thinking the happiest thoughts and still my heart's just <laughs> Yeah, that stuff. Strong. But the second time smoking it, it wasn't as strong. It was uh not that I'm saying it as I'm disappointed. I'm actually pretty glad. It wasn't that as strong. It was still strong stuff. Like you still, I can't smoke. Like the way you see me pack my bowls with this stuff, that's because this stuff's like, it's like medium, you know. It's like the stuff to get baked off of, but you know you can smoke it. <laughs> I guess I don't know. But that cancer uh, weed, you only can smoke half a bowl, or yeah, at most half a bowl. You should be smoking it at each uh, smoke session because it is very strong stuff and it's not really something yeah, I, I don't know I don't know about that stuff it's like I believe they do put extra you know medicines in there um, they have to it's just too strong but it does help them a lot like it helps them with their pain like because when I even though my heart was racing I didn't feel nothing. I knew, like I wasn't worried that my heart was like I did. I wasn't worried that I could feel my heart beating. You know, I was just like, I, I didn't feel nothing. I just, oof, I was zoned out. That was a good buzz, but then scary. I guess I don't know. So yeah, guys, if you like that episode, sorry the battery's getting low, so we gotta move a little bit faster. Oh no, well it's dead. <laughs>